Hello, this is Mark. You know, urban legend states that when notorious bank robber Willie Sutton was asked why he robbed banks, his answer was simple and direct. He said, I robbed banks because that's where the money is. So where's the money in your leadership team? If you're like most organizations, the money is in your first level managers, those frontline supervisors that are managing your direct employees. I mean, think about it. They're the ones that are closest to your customer. They're closest to those employees, which for most organizations is the single largest expense on your income statement. And they're closest to the day in, day out problems that really make the difference between whether you just survive or whether you thrive. So what are you doing to invest in those first level managers? I mean, isn't that job one of the toughest in the organization? Think about it. They go from being a peer as an individual contributor, and in most cases they're promoted, and now they got to go manage those who they one time who at one time they hung out with. So let me give you three tips for unlocking the potential in those first level managers. Number one, teach them the importance of casting their own unique vision. You know, Jack Welsh in his book, Winning, was asked, what, what's one of the traits you look for in those that you promote? His number one response was vision. They've got to be able to cast vision. And doesn't a manager need to be able to own their own vision for how they want to lead the team? So teach that to your managers. Number two, teach them the importance of getting buy-in from the managers of their team. Think of a new coach when he takes over a ball team. He or she has got to go in and get the buy-in to his or her systems, to their processes, before that team can ever have a potential, have the opportunity to reach its potential. Great teams are unified behind a common vision. And then number three, give them exposure to leadership training. Teach them the importance of investing in themselves, taking the time to read, go to leadership events, provide training for them to help them grow and gain confidence as a leader. So think about what you're doing, one, to teach vision. Number two, how you're working with your team to teach them how to get buy-in. And ask the question, is the direct employees of my managers, are they bought in to that manager's unique vision and mission? And then number three, send your people to leadership training. Give them access to resources to help them grow. Do this and you'll unlock one of the biggest opportunities for material gains in your organization's productivity and profitability. Until next time, continue to rise up, step into it, own it, and remember to lead with passion.